Let me show you how to set up a measurement with shaft align touch. Basically, we have the laser sensor unit here, which we also refer to as the sensor line 3 sensor of the shaft align touch. And we have on the motor side the prism. That is where the reflector sits. So the laser beam coming from the laser sensor unit is being reflected at this prism back into this laser sensor unit. I have here the handheld of the shaft line touch, and we're gonna enter the dimensions in a few seconds. Let's first mount the sensors of the shaft line touch. The laser has a mark on top here, a white mark. This mark we're gonna read from the top. The laser basically comes on the fixed machine of our pump and motor, which we have in front of us. So the laser sensor we mount with a white mark on top on the machine we're not going to move, the pump in our case. I fixed the laser by fixing those two yellow screws. The prism comes on the motor. Also, the prism has a white mark on top, but it has this white mark on both sides. So on bottom and top. And in order to mount this correct, I orient myself at the back side where it says serial number and proof technique. So in order to mount this correct, I read that correct from the back side. This is how I mount it. And I fix it with this yellow lever arm by moving this lever arm now pointing into the middle of the coupling. So now we have set up laser sensor and prism. And what we're going to do now is in our shaft line touch handheld, we enter the needed dimensions. So in the start screen, home screen, I go into horizontal alignment. So here we see now on my right here, you see the dimension screen that is in the trilogy of dimension measurement result. First step, we enter the dimensions which we are required and which we are asked to enter. You see the first distance that we are requested to give in is from the laser sensor to the prism. In order to enter this, I orient myself at this mark here and I measure the distance from the mark on the laser sensor to the prism over here. That's 170 mm. And I enter 70 and hit the white arrow on green ground on right lower right side. Proceed. Now we have suggested a distance of 85 mm from the laser sensor to the center of the coupling. Obviously, in our case, that's not what we need. What we need is the center of power transfer in here. Let me explain this a bit why we need this type of coupling which we have in front of us is nothing, nothing but this. So from the motor, there come those claws which fit into those rubber elements in this metal cover here. So they fit like this right here at this position. See four rubber elements in black where the four claws come and fit in like this exactly here. So the center of power transfer is in the middle of those rubber elements. So that means the center of power transfer is exactly here. And in order to read from the laser sensor to this center of power of transfer, I cannot really look through here. So I help myself 
move laser sensor and the shaft. And now I measure from this chain here to the middle of this metal cover. Why do I do this? Because the mark where we are to measure and those rods and the chain, which is fixed around the shaft, form one plane. So I can measure from this chain to the middle of this metal cover in order to determine the distance from laser sensor to the center of power of transfer. That's 25 mm instead of the 85 we were suggested. Hit the button to the right. The next distance that I'm required is the one from the center of power transfer to the front foot of the motor. To determine this, I help myself a bit with this meter here. What I'm doing is I'm enlarging the plane where the rubber elements are in, where we know our center of power transfer is. And I measure with this meter and the tape measure, determine the distance to the front foot. That's 240 mm. Proceed to the last but one distance which we are required to enter. That's the distance between the bolts of both feet of the motor. I measure from middle of the one bolt to the middle of the other bolt. So it's 140 mm, which I enter. And now the last distance we are required is the diameter, the diameter of the coupling here. Do this like this. I measure the circumference. We are at 200 here already. So 255 is the circumference of this metal cover here. I enter this now like in a pocket calculator, 255 divided, which is the sign on the upper left side of the tastatura on the right. And in order to get the diameter, I divide this circumference by high and when I now hit the arrow to the right you see the system calculates the diameter to 81 mm. The last value to enter in the dimensions here is the rotations per minute, revolutions per minute. I can read this off this plate here on the motor and it says 1440 divided by minute. So 1440 revolutions per minute is what I enter. So this is it with regard to setting up the measurement for the shaft aligned touch.